All right, the weather's getting real cold out here and I uh, didn't get around to building a pole barn. So told the tractor over the winter, I went ahead and bought a shipping container and that's right here behind me that you can see. Um, seen a lot of posts on social media, some pictures, but I hadn't seen much video. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you around this shipping container with the little 2501 sitting inside. And it's not its uh, forever home, but it'll work pretty well for this, for this winter at least. So here we go. So this is a 40 foot high cube container. It's got doors on both ends, uh, which is a nice feature. It's a single trip, so it's in uh, pretty good shape as you can see. And I'll show you inside. Had to make some kind of a little ramp here to, to get in. I just turned the tractor on so it could start warming up, but as you can see, it fits really easily. Got plenty of space on both sides and be a nice home for the winter. All right, so we're just gonna put a few of the more expensive implements into the into the container for the winter. The rest of them can stay outside, but we're gonna put this tractor tree saw in. I think you can see that I added some casters to the bottom of that pallet so that once it's in the container, then we can shove it around if needed, but let's go ahead and put them away. All right, so you can see the casters on the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and slide it in there and go get the next one. All right, it's all inside. A little bit of space on this side. I can squeeze through there if I need to, but uh, this side, there's plenty of room to walk right through it. Go ahead and take up some space here between those things and should be ready for winter. Could throw a few more implements in if we want, but uh, right now I'm just gonna leave it as is. Notice I found some linkable LED lights. I haven't put them all up yet, just kinda threw them up against the walls, but just use some magnets with some hooks to attach them. That's worked out really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. I've got a box of them sitting here and uh, light this place up and yeah, it'd be a nice, nice spot to come out here and piddle around. So this is space and uh, one of the questions I anticipate getting is, you know, what does it cost and was it worth it? 
Um, shipping container costs about $6,000 for a, a one trip, single trip container uh, as opposed to a used container. It's in great shape and I, I think I would recommend going with a new container if you can afford it. But, uh, you know, a pole building, pole barn would cost sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000, something like that for the building that I'd like to construct. But winter is here, don't want to spend the money on it right now. So um, this works well for, for my purpose because I don't have to bring the tractor onto the property. Um, it's just here if I want to come out and mess around for, you know, 30 minutes or an hour even. Um, so that's, that's really great. It's, it's a good decision from that regard. Um, Another question I anticipate is, what do I plan on doing with the shipping container when I'm done with it? And that's a great question. Uh, my wife would love to know the answer to that. But I've uh, been considering some, some building designs that incorporate shipping containers in some way. Um, and I've also been thinking about turning into kind of a little tiny Airbnb, put in a glass garage door over there, put in some windows, insulate the place, and uh, put a mini split on the outside to, to heat and cool it. We'll see. But for now, tractor has a home. I have a place to hang out in the winter and I'm happy. If you're on the fence about getting a shipping container to store your tractor, if it fits, I would totally recommend it. So see you next time.